Now, wait, there's more. This is like an advertorial. This is the last thing I want to do. Uh, and so we're in the home stretch. I said right at the start that it's not just about how people feel about our brands, but it's also about the factors beyond their control that drive what they end up doing. And unless we're measuring those, we also make wrong inferences about what they're doing, what, about why they're doing what they're doing. And so there are two pieces that we need to measure. We need to measure power in the mind and power in the market. And when we layer the second piece in, we drive that we close that gap even more. If the correlation, if we get the mind piece right, between how an individual spends their money in a market is 0.62, we can close it to 0.74, it's pretty darn good. You'd struggle to beat that. What sorts of things are we talking about here? We're talking about things like accessibility. I may want to shop at Walmart, but there's no local Walmart. I've certainly heard enough about it to know that I might want to shop there. Affordability, especially crucial in emerging markets. I may want to drive a BMW, but it's just beyond my ability to pay for it. Um, product characteristics, we just don't realize that there are particular things that people need and we don't put them in. And so the business goes to competitors. Sometimes people aren't in control of who actually makes the purchase decision. And that's another reason why we lose business. Voluntary monopolies, Coca-Cola never hesitates to make it impossible for you to get Pepsi. They do deals with Disney, they do deals with Star Alliance, they do deals with the McDonald's. They're not really in favor of free choice, I would say. The regulatory environment, we heard earlier about um, the, the, the challenges for cigarette uh, marketers these days. So there are a range of factors that, that are going to cause these two things to go out of alignment. Um, and that takes me back then to the TNS growth path and the horizontal and the vertical axis. And I've got an eye on the clock here and the new conversion model. 